This is from my friend Wolfgang 452. I believe he's from Italy, if I can tell by the accent, even though I'm not sure about that. Anyway, his um, videos on the Voynich, and for all of you that don't know what the Voynich is, the Voynich is a manuscript that was found in Europe, and it's now in the Bernanke Library in the United States, which is a manuscript that cannot be read or has not been deciphered yet and many people have tried to do that and I want to show uh, Wolfgang the two books that I have on it mainly this one is very good for the ref for reference the first one I bought here and I'll show you the size is this book is about nine inches by six inches All right, now the original Voynich as I understand is about, and I don't know what the metric is, they don't have metric on here, no they don't, okay, is about um, six inches by eight inches. And this book has a very few pictures of the um, codex in it, and mainly it talks about who could have written it. And it's an, it's an interesting book, but for someone that wants to just study the pictures, the photos, at leisure and see what is could be in them this is very good because the only way to really um, study the Voynich without any books is to go to the Bernanke library and look at their images which are very very good but if you just want to lay in bed and you know ponder things um, a, a book a, a book form is very good now on this one that I just received this book is about 11 inches by eight and a half inches, which is very good for, it's just like the women say, you know, bigger is better, right? Bitches. Anyway, this book here has all of the pages, and it's it's made by FQ Publishing or whatever. This is an interesting um, thing about the book is that who owns the copyright? There is no real author uh, that's been found. The copyright has not been transferred to uh, a new owner because they don't know who the first owner is. The Bernanke library, and it's in, either in Yale or Harvard or something, owns the book. Do they own the copyright? I don't, I don't know. Uh, but all the pictures are, you can see by my hand, are very large. And let's get that out of there. And I can go through here and look at all the the weird symbols and the um, naked maidens I guess maybe this was kind of like a playboy in the 1400s I don't know and everything is in color but it's a very good reference uh, book uh, uh, and it you know for just someone that wants to look at actually the pictures and the words I have uh, a number of videos on the Voynich and my theories of what it what it is and the decipherment of it. But like everything else, uh, a, a person who does decipher all of it will become very famous. But I wanted to point this out to my friend uh, Wolfgang in Europe. I believe it's your. I think he's from Europe. I don't. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. No, I'm American. I'm never sorry. Anyway, um, I bought this, I believe, on Amazon, and it was about around fifty dollars. You can see it's a it's a heavy book. So, if you are a Voynich um, fan or like this mystery, I would suggest that you check out this gentleman's channel right here.
see if I can get a better picture here. This is Wolfgang 452, who I've just met, and he has some brilliant work on the the voyage, and he gives a very good uh, narration, much better than I can do. Let's see. This is uh, Voyage Revelations by. Giuseppe Bianchi. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to post this and thank you, sir, for your your great thoughts on the Voynich. Much respect from America.